I'd like to introduce Marty Kistler, a distinguished member of the California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Class 2006. Congratulations, Marty. Thank you. Uh, what individual in, in your illustrious career had the greatest influence on you in the sport of wrestling? Well, it was uh, probably Dan Gable for throughout most of my high school uh, career and stuff because he was an Olympic champion and uh, I knew uh, very few older top-notch uh, wrestlers at that time besides my let's say my older brother Jackson mm -hmm. so he he was kind of a good idol for a long time in my life him and you know Dave Schultz and uh, other people like Lee Kemp and stuff like that. And uh, who is your idol growing up in the sport of wrestling? Uh, like I said, who, who, you know, probably Dan Gable. Mm -hmm. yeah. How'd you get started in wrestling? I know you came from a long line of wrestlers and you were yeah. the youngest, correct? Yeah. Okay, so what got you started? Well, there's this uh, guy named uh, Dennis Payne and he was a local YMCA. Uh, he was uh, head of a wrestling program for the YMCA. And we started our first practice. And I think I uh, started with a few uh, concussions. <laughs> Went into a, you know, so, you know, something like that. It was a tough introduction to the sport mm -hmm. of wrestling. and. Uh, we all stuck with it. We all enjoyed it after a while. And uh, actually kind of were always psyched up to do it. And I, I'm sure that uh, having three older brothers didn't help it make you a lot tougher, huh? Yes, it, it helped immensely with my record and stuff like that, I would mm -hmm. say. Uh, what do you attribute your success to wrestling? Uh, I think it, it came down to just uh, dedication and a lot of hard work mm -hmm. as far as putting in the hours. And, and you're willing to do it. Willing to do it and uh, repetition helped a lot. Mm -hmm. Practicing it a lot. Um, kind of uh, psyching yourself up is a mental aspect of wrestling that I think I got down to a very uh, Uh, just a uh, real confident level, mm -hmm. but not not to the point where it'd be overconfident. You know right. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now, what's your one most outstanding memory of the sport as a competitor? You know, obviously you've accomplished a lot, national champ, yeah. won the state several times. I would I would have to say uh, winning the NCA tournament a second time. Mm -hmm and college was just outstanding. Um, you know, I got <coughs> TV coverage on TV, mm -hmm. which made it very nice. Yeah, and that's always rare for wrestlers to be able to get that. And even to this day, I still enjoy watching that particular match. So is that the match that really stand out in your mind that you enjoy the most, your finals match, your senior year? Um, yeah, I'd have to say that match, yeah. Because mm -hmm. I trained for it like all year. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, uh, you wrestled kids that wrestled him, Mark Van Tyne, and they, you know, there's always this, I won by a point or I lost by a point. And you're training all year and then you, you uh, run into them in the finals and you have this really big match where you, uh, you know, you everything goes well for you, and you win by you know almost ten points. So mm. it was you know just a great match in my careers. Yeah, you and bet. Well, when did you figure out that you're going to be pretty good? I think it was my junior year in high school. Mm -hmm. I was confident with uh, my moves, how uh, my strength was coming along and my endurance, and I, I was uh, 
getting better technique down so I didn't have to cut as much weight. Because in wrestling, uh, there are periods and years where you cut a lot of weight, and then there's years where you cut no weight. Yeah. You know, And a lot of that has to do with your maturing with the sport. Right. What would you like people to remember about Marty Kissler? Uh, just that uh, I like the sport uh, enough where I didn't need too many uh, other things in my life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I didn't, there were times in high school like, oh, I wanted a job right out of high school and, you know, stuff like that. But mm -hmm. with the sport of wrestling, it's such a commitment and it was so fulfilling. I didn't need a whole lot of other stuff in my life, you know, with the sport, which is nice, it, you know, it is. It's, you know, I had a sister that way, just about ballet. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. She just, loved ballet as much as I kind of enjoyed wrestling. Yeah, it's nice to have something that fulfills you that way. Yeah. Uh, you know, obviously wrestling takes a lot of hard work. What are the aspects of the sport that contributed uh, to make you who you are today, Marty? Well, the length and duration of the time I put in wrestling, from four years old to, let's say, about, you know, to almost 30. Mm -hmm. So it was a real lengthy program. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And the things that stand out is you, uh, um, you overcome weight cutting, you overcome nutrition, eating right, you overcome um, um, your endurance. On the summers when you're not working out, sometimes you'll run, you know, just a little bit and get winded. And you'll, your body, you'll be so good with your uh, conditioning that you'll know you'll have to work out three times a day to get back. Or you have to take it easy. You can't uh, go super hard after a, you know, uh, just a wimp and end up hurting yourself. You, you, the sport of wrestling gives you the greatest understanding of your uh, physical body than any other sport that I could imagine. Because you use your whole body. And throughout the ordeal of wrestling, the sport of wrestling, I learned a whole lot about my own body and what I could do as far as pushing it as hard as I could. And uh, you, have, you have a few injuries now and then, so you have to cut back and you can't do certain, like say if we couldn't run for like three months, we would use a stationary bike and we'd use, we'd pedal it. And we'd overcome certain things like that and train a little bit different sometimes. But there was a lot, you know, a lot of times like that at key moments uh, when a top match was coming up that you couldn't, you know, like, just quit. You had to, you know, you couldn't just you had to quit. improvise. Yeah, yeah you, you had to you improvise. Well, good. Well, uh, congratulations once again for being inducted in the California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Marty, and uh, thank you so much. All right.